New restrictions are being considered for the smart streetlights that maybe you've noticed around San Diego. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle live at City Hall where the discussion, Cassie, got heated. Yeah, good morning, Virginia, and they ended up uh, rejecting the proposal that was on the agenda today in favor of a more broad proposal that would cover all surveillance technologies across the city. The smart streetlight program started in 2016 and was met with suspicion. It caught everyone completely surprised last year, and even the police department was not even aware of the camera capability until August 2018. Many urging community input. Such that blind spots like why the camera are only in South Bay in a lot of people color community. Today, presenters told the Public Safety Committee the cameras do not pan or zoom. There's no facial recognition or license plate reading capabilities, and private property is blocked from view. The information is stored for five days on the camera. We want street light. We want camera. We want public safety too, by the way. We love crime solving. Just yesterday, the city attorney said that these smart street lights have already helped solve more than 250 crimes. That includes murders, sexual assaults, as well as kidnappings. Reporting live downtown, Kess Carlisle, 10 News.